Couldn't find my apron. But I found my wife's apron. Check this out. Uh huh? Yeah? Nice. Let's make some curry. So today we're going to make a Japanese style curry in the crock pot. So, here's what we've got. An onion, some turnips, garlic, ginger, carrots, some mushrooms, sliced water chestnuts, cubed beef, still frozen, but it's going in the crock pot. And we have some Vermont curry. You can add whatever you want into curry. This is what I had in the fridge. To start, I'm gonna put the beef in the crock pot. Next step, I'm gonna take this onion uh, and the mushrooms, the garlic and the ginger. I'm going to saute them in a frying pan. Since it's going in a crock pot, this isn't really necessary, but I just think it tastes a little better in the end. So. Let's get this onion all chopped up. There we go. Get this all going right over there. Okay, got that all cooking over there. I am going to get the turnips and carrots peeled and chopped. First thing, Peeling time lapse montage. Got it all peeled. Now let's chop it up. Okay, everything's chopped up. All we got to do is get everything into the crock pot, get it going. So we've got our cubed beef, still frozen, turnips, and our carrots, onion, garlic, ginger, mushrooms, all sauteed. Got some sliced water chestnuts, just for a little crunch. And last, we'll add this curry sauce mix. There are some directions on the back with kind of a little recipe there. You can add whatever you like. Basically one box to about six cups of water, 1400 mils, five and, five and four fifths cup of water. So one crock pot works pretty well. So now that we've got this in there, all of our stuff, I'm going to add water till it just barely covers everything in the crock pot. Some of the turnips and mushrooms float, so it doesn't look like they're covered. But there's just enough water in there for everything to be covered. We're just gonna slap a lid on this and turn this on high for about five hours, six hours. I do this at lunchtime, leave it go till dinner time. Turns out perfect. Five hours later. So this Vermont curry, uh, you can find sometimes in like an Asian food store if you have one near you. Our local store went out of business and the nearest store where I can buy this is about 80 miles away. So I get this on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the video description uh, of where you can find it on Amazon. So this has been going about five hours now. So let's take a look. See what we've got. So usually a Japanese curry is served over rice. Uh, you can also serve it over noodles. Um, if you're trying to cut carbs, I guess you could do like rice cauliflower. One decision later. I'm gonna try making cauliflower rice. Now I know I've mentioned before that I really hate cauliflower rice. So for the sake of curry, I'm gonna try making my own and we'll see how it goes. Just shredded, grated a head of cauliflower, pressed some of the moisture out, kind of stir fried it. So 
we'll use this tonight in curry. See how it turns out. So, the curry was delicious. Uh, cauliflower rice, just no. It if you don't want the carbs, just don't eat the rice. This just tasted like we added mashed cauliflower to our curry, which would have been less work just to add cauliflower to the crock pot. Thanks for watching. Leave me a, a comment. Let me know what sort of terrible things rice cauliflower has done to you. If you like this video and you want to see other videos, check out the rest of the channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to know when I post a few things here at Factor 85 Labs.